Hey everyone. Okay, so here we are. I'm just going to run you through uh, generally what you need to do. It's pretty super, it's actually super simple what you need. Um, you will need to go ahead and click this first icon here that says folder compare. And then you're just going to compare the two different locations for all the different files. So I will go ahead and do that now. Next, what you'll want to do is uh, on the left-hand side here, where it says Interpath here, you will select the original folder, or yeah, actually the original folder that you want to um, do the comparison on. And on the right-hand side, this is going to be the second folder you'll, you're going to be comparing to. So I already have my two test folders already set up. And I have them called test one and test two. So I'm going to enter test one over here on the left. And then I'm going to enter test two over here on the right. Once that's done, I'll go ahead and um, just direct your attention to these three main icons here. This is all I really use in the program. And what I'll do is I'll select this first one that says all with the asterisk at the top. So we'll go through kind of what these mean, but for the purposes of the video, I'm just going to start here and then we'll go through. Once I got my two folders all selected, I'll go ahead and click enter on my keyboard and it's going to do the uh, comparison. Now that ran pretty quick. Uh, for you, it's going to be different if you have hundreds or thousands of files and if you have, you know, like a, a standard hard drive, it's, it's going to take you some time. I have an SSD, so that's probably another reason why this ran so fast. But, uh, yeah, but it's pretty much going to run through all the files in those different locations and then do a, a nice comparison here. So you'll see, and then I'll just scroll down. You'll kind of see, visually speaking, you have like these three different colors. You have, um, you have black here, you have purple, and if you scroll all the way down, you'll see a little bit of red here. So I'll kind of go through what these mean from a visual perspective. Or maybe you can kind of understand what it means here just looking at them. But basically the, uh, the files here that are in black, these are the files that exist currently on your original folder in your destination folder and nothing's changed on them. The ones that are in purple, these exist only on your original folder location or your source in this case but it doesn't exist in the destination, as you can see here. The last one, which you saw at the bottom, now you see that they're, they're the same name, but if you look closely at the, uh, the modified field at the top here, you see that these files were, were modified with, with different times. And you'll see here that the size has changed. So before these were just blank text files, but I added some data here, you know, for the purposes of this video, just to kind of highlight. So what this basically tells me is that um, I did have files with the same name that exists on the source and destination, but the one on the destination side actually has, according to this, been modified and it has more updated information. So that's kind of what you'll see or why you see it here located in red. So now that we went through that, I'll scroll back up to the top and I'll kind of show you um, how to transfer the files over. Again, it's super simple. All you have to do are those ones that you want transferred over to your destination. You're just going to want to go ahead and select whichever ones you need. And once you have them all selected, you're going to right click and click. Uh, let's see, where is it? Oh yeah, copy to side. That's what we'll need. And we're going to transfer them from the left to right. So click start. And that will transfer them over to your destination folder. And as you see, once it transferred over, uh, it changes color here. Just to let you know that, hey, the files now that you transferred over, they're the exact same, nothing's changed, nothing's been modified, everything's good. We'll go ahead, and we're gonna go ahead and do that again here. So select whatever files you want, 
and copy to the right and then click start and again it does the same process So I'll wait for this to finish. And now that that's all done, I'm going to redirect you or redirect your attention to these icons here. So remember at the beginning of the video, I, I went ahead and select this first icon, which says all with the asterisk. That just basically means, hey, show me all the files that are in my source folder and my destination folder and just show them to me. If you want to make life a little bit easier, if you started doing all the transfers, you have hundreds of files, thousands of files, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it gets, you know, time consuming to continuously scroll through this. So what you want to do is select the second icon here that says diffs with the equal sign in like a slash through it. And what that does is it selects uh, the files that exist on my source. And uh, actually, that I, I shouldn't say ex, uh, that doesn't exist. That's kind of that 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 is kind of true, but it's a difference in files. So basically, uh, it's going to show me all the files that are currently on my source that doesn't exist on my destination. And what it's also going to do is show me any files that's basically changed. Even like they'll have the same name, but any sort of files that's changed based on the timestamp here. So that's kind of what you're seeing. And you can go ahead and repeat this process. It's the exact same thing. And this time, once you have the diffs um, icon selected, once you go ahead and click copy to write, it'll disappear. Because it's just telling you, hey, well, it's not being filtered for all the files. I'm just showing the differences. And that's what you're seeing. And then you can kind of go through the process. Now, uh, what you'll want to do is if you find that there are any files here highlighted in red, and say, for instance, if you updated your, your destination folder and you'll want to um, send this file back over to um, your original, you, it's, the process is the same, just a little bit different. Instead of copying to the right, you'll do copy to left. And then go ahead and click start and you'll see that's all done now everything's the same now the last one that you want to do is the same icon here and what that is basically just telling me is hey show me all the files that haven't been modified that are the exact same on my source and my destination folder and that's what we have here so that's Pretty much beyond compare, um, in a nutshell, um, I use this tool. It's great. The only caveat, it does come with like a 30-day trial, and then you'll kind of have to, um, you know, put it on another machine. But, hey, for the purposes of this video and, you know, for the purposes of what you need it for, um, just generally speaking, it's it's great. Um, it works well. I've never had it corrupt any of my files, so it's great. Now, if you did like the video, make sure to click like. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Subscribe if you want to. And lastly, I do have some other videos on a channel, uh, channel just other general computer how-tos, um, some you know, quick PC upgrades. If you're interested, go ahead and check them out too. It's been S Sims here with another video. Thanks for watching.